Greetings world. We are anonymous. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us. The regulation of traffic on highways and roads is one of the greatest legal challenges of the 21st century. Not only do three levels of government, federal, provincial and municipal, make traffic laws and statutes but common law rules still play an important role in this area as well. Transport Canada has the responsibility and authority to propose and enforce laws and regulations to ensure safe, secure, efficient and clean transportation. In addition to the control and regulation of traffic and roads, traffic law includes the huge area of civil liability arising from the thousands of annual traffic accidents. In most provinces, this area of law is still governed by normal negligence principles, modified somewhat by highway traffic acts. In some provinces, civil actions have been replaced by compulsory no-fault schemes which compensate victims of motor vehicle accidents without litigation and without regard to fault. The most extensive scheme, which has abolished civil action in all motor vehicle cases, is in Quebec. All provinces, even those that maintain fault law, have compulsory liability insurance laws which provide for at least some compensation to motor vehicle accident victims without the need for costly litigation. Transport Canada administers a number of acts related to transportation. It also assists with the administration of many others. Most of those acts, which are also laws, date back to 1985 and are still in use today. Regulations are the rules used to carry out the intent of statutes, acts enacted by the Parliament of Canada. They are instruments of legislative power and have the force of law. Regulations contain more specific guidelines than acts. These can include definitions, licensing requirements, performance specifications, exemptions, forms and other details. All of the acts administered have their own accompanying regulations. Regulations are the rules used to carry out the intent of statutes, acts enacted by the Parliament of Canada. They are instruments of legislative power and have the force of law. Most of these regulations date back to the 1970s and are also still in use today. The Traffic Safety Act of Alberta has laws that date back to the year 1000, and a lot of the laws stated in the Act do not go along with today's society, and some of them no longer make sense to have any more. The Driver's Handbook which is updated almost yearly, gets newer information added each year, that many people that has taken driver's tests from years and years ago don't know about in today's day and age. This is where bad drivers come in because they are used to traffic laws and roadways years ago, and they have no idea about any of the new laws and information because they never have a need to look at the newer driver's handbooks. Senior drivers that everyone seem to get frustrated at are just most likely driving how they were taught to drive back in the 1940s to the 1990s because everything was different than to now, making it so that anyone that learned to drive back then has no reason to look at any updated stuff about today's driving laws and procedures. Instead of for license renewals for classes 5, 6, or 7 a medical report signed by your physician is required at 75 years, 80 years and every 2 years after 80 years in order to upgrade driving skills, and possibly to kill two birds at once. What it should be is when drivers go to renew their driver's or learner's license, or any class license for that matter, every five years or so, they should be required to take an upgrading driving exam so that they can be familiar with things they might not have been taught when they learned to drive and instead of just an eye exam. A more thorough exam should be used to determine if the person is mentally stable to even be on the road.
done by a physician that specializes in the proper procedures needed. By doing this can also determine who has a mental illness and who may need to get the proper help. This is the two birds at once theory, and this may weed out or at least cut down on the craziness in the world as well. And if someone were to not have a driver's license to renew, or doesn't want to get one, then there should be procedures elsewhere that allow this kind of exam. For example, when someone applies for a passport, when someone applies for any government-issued ID, these mental tests should be available anywhere so we can cut back on the illness and give these people the help they need so that the world can be somewhat a better and safer place. The Alberta Health Care Insurance Plan will pay for medical examinations for drivers who are 75 years or older, should be changed to help at any age for these expenses. The current age requirements are based on research that shows some medical conditions or cognitive challenges are more common at certain ages. But more untreated mental illness these days are being found in all ages. So testing every five years rather than when life is almost done at 75 would be more accurate. We are anonymous. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.